Hey everybody! I am playing more Batman on account of it's super fun, and although I am super unbelievably horrible at it, apparently. Uh, but yeah, I'm exploring the Batcave. Can I get in this car? This is the only thing I care about right now. Oh my god, that's amazing! Now we're going to go here. Story. Oh, all I want to do is drive that car now. That That is that is going to be my favorite thing. But yeah, and I promised I would talk about uh, writing, like thanking sponsors and writing sponsor posts. We, we, we have more sponsors, I think, this year than we ever have. And it's everybody from big companies like Cards Against Humanity or Gearbox Software to small independent Etsy artists who honestly are, are part of the backbone of, of our event like we've gotten so much support from people who are just you know throwing in sort of uh, fifty hundred dollars worth of art I mean stuff that they made we get people ship it from New Zealand from America from Poland from all, all over the world and it is an honor to thank them for their support and oh dudes that is the way I, I i was trying to think about there's a tendency with an event or with a ch especially especially when you're doing stuff for charity to think that you are doing people a favor by allowing them to to help you out like you know whether i mean they're, 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 it's, that's that's probably the wrong way to, to to frame it but in the sense that like like a lot of charity art auctions and things like that or like oh well they're getting something from it they're getting exposure and they're getting and it's true like we we offer our sponsors everything we can we have a sponsorship relationship with them which is different from a donor relationship uh, when you're a sponsor you get something out of it and we we try and give them as much as we can um, but especially i think because we're small and because we want to sort of stay small or at least keep that feeling we always Keep in mind that we are not doing people a favor by giving them a way to, to, to help uh, child's play. They are doing us a favor by donating and, and, and offering up things that they care deeply about in order to raise money for children's hospitals. Like, like they are amazing for doing this. We're just giving them an opportunity, and we're trying to give them the best opportunity we can. But anybody who donates uh, over a hundred dollars worth of you know, usually in-kind stuff like art or things gets a we 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 write a post about them we feature them we want to celebrate what they've done and what they're doing and it is basically the one of the most fun parts of my job I mean apart from actually being there on the day of giving stuff away and generally being a villain because that is really the most fun part of my job get back here I will oh man Batman does not mess around like he just like drops these guys on their heads. That's that's unsafe. I hope these guys get like workman's comp or something. I mean, this is Gotham. They don't even have healthcare in Gotham. Jeez. But yeah, thanking sponsors um, is the kind of thing that I try and take. I, I tend to take really seriously because, I mean, not just from the perspective of of I want to work with people more every year, but also. I want to be an event and, and be part of an event that treats people with respect and that treats people with, uh, and, and that celebrates people in the way that they deserve. Oh, stop, stop, stop drop kicking me. Stop it. And, um, can I come in? No, no, you're, you're not gonna let me in. I'm Batman. I don't know if anyone told you. Oh my god, I'm getting in this car. Is this an ice cream truck? No, I don't want to be Robin. I want to get in the car. Okay, I'm pretty sure I have to do something over here, but I don't know what it is. Uh, do, 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 do. I think I might need to be Robin for a bit. Oh. 
the magnet suit. Let's see if we can't find Robin a suit. I like that you're paired between Batman and Robin. That's sort of really interesting. I mean, rather than having it... Usually the Batman games I play are like Arkham City, where Robin isn't even a thing. These guys are not going to stop coming. I can't get in these cars, and that makes me sad. What I'm doing. Um, apart from talking about sponsors, and that we want to be, yeah, we want to be an event that is sort of worthy of them. And that is something I, I try and keep in the forefront of my mind. But actually, writing, okay, I need to get the magnet suit. But I don't know where that is. Help me out here, somebody, please. I am terrible at this. Can I go around here? There's nothing here, though. Like, put them in an arm lock and then just fling them. God. Before today, I thought I was good at video games. Now I know the truth. And the truth is that I, I am universally terrible. Ow! I don't think this game even has difficulty settings. That's... Okay, so let's try and, like, batarang and stuff. Because it's clearly got something to do with that stuff. Oh! I've got to assemble the Robin suit thing again. Okay. There we go. Okay, I know what I'm doing. I need to suit. That is awesome! There we go, and then we pull the switch. I don't know what that does, but... Oh, Robin doesn't stay there. I can't climb any of this other stuff. Ow! I'm really bad at this. Uh, but no, when I when I write something like that, I try, and there's this temptation to just sort of um, be bland and and to sort of talk about them, you know, you use words like awesome and amazing and fantastic and great and just sort of hyperbolic words. And it's because it's a feel-good sort of thing. But I find that if you use it too much, you wind up, it, it sort of becomes valueless. I mean, if it's the thing that you say about everybody, then nobody is really sort of made special by it. And so instead... What I, what I try and do, what I want to do, is, okay, so we're going to pull this lever, and then we're going to run up this wall. Oh, no.
Aha! I want to wear this stupid clunky magnet suit the whole time. Okay, now I know what this means. So I can just... Yeah, and then I just construct a Batman thing. Okay. I'm getting the hang of this. I'm getting the hang of this. You guys are seeing me in my embarrassing opening. Oh my god, that's a wingsuit. Jetpack Batman is go. Ow. Okay, that, that didn't work out quite the way I planned it. Can I just battering that? No. Ow! Why are you such a jerk? I was expecting that to have more of an effect. Huh. Oh, can I maybe... Batarang those valves? No. What I try and do when when thanking a sponsor is... Can Robin, can you maybe operate this panel? Nope. Is find something that connects me to them. For real. I mean, whether it's the thing that they donated, whether it's some work that their company does, and like Cards Against Humanity, for instance, who's who's come back as a sponsor this year and donated some really awesome stuff. Um, I don't play a lot of Cards Against Humanity. Um, I don't play a lot of card games in general, but hmm, I'm also super stuck. I have no clue what I'm doing. Feel free to freak out in the comments at my complete ineptitude. I definitely cannot batarang this thing. There is nothing over there for me to look at. There is nothing over there for me to look at. Robin, can you maybe like run up that wall and do something? No. Hmm. I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, apart from rambling about sponsor stuff. Oh, we almost made it! We almost made it! Okay. Oh, we're so close. I don't think that that is the way I'm supposed to do it. God. This thing is so... Oh, that was me just jumping off a cliff. This thing is so finicky. But yeah, find something that connects you to, to what they what they do. I mean, do some, do some always do your homework and find out what they've done in the past and some other things that they are good for. And it's also just helpful when, when talking to people that if you... If you know and generally genuinely care about their work, I mean that's that's what you would want. You want to get people who genuinely care about the things that you're doing, rather I mean, rather than people who are just sort of interested in, in an opportunity. I am interested in an opportunity to cross this castle, and I have no clue how to do it. All right, is that an egg beater? What is going on over here? What is what is that? What is the deal with it? Um. I'm just checking for like batarangy stuff. Well, I can batarang those. What does that do? It does property damage. I like property damage. Okay, wait, can I batarang these?
I can't batarang those. I keep trying to use my mouse to adjust the camera. No. Huh. Huh. Now I'm just sort of doing it for fun. That seems so promising. Let's go outside and see if we can glide suit somewhere. Somewhere else. What I really want is like demolition suit so I can blow some of this stuff up. No, they're not gonna let me in. Let's go back inside. Why are you such a jerk, game? The solution for this is just like the other one. Like, it's super simple, but super weird, I bet. I feel like I just need to, like, batarang something. I just want to batarang that. Like, this don't look. Uh, like, do those guys all have machine guns? Because that would be unfortunate. Hmm. Yeah, no, they are definitely not going to let me... Hmm. I can't believe I'm stuck in Lego Batman. Solving puzzles in Skyrim, no problem. Getting across a gap in Lego Batman. No, he just sort of dives. They would not have given me the glide suit if it wasn't important. I just can't figure out what they want me to do with it. God, that thing extends so far. This is so embarrassing. Oh. Well, I'm just going to hang out here and talk about sponsorship. Yeah, I mean, the, the real sort of way to do it is feel something real, do your homework, and then put those words down. I mean, when I wrote my, my... I wrote a post on Gearbox last week, which I will link below. Uh, Gearbox, they're super awesome. I got the chance to... Uh, talk with their community manager when I was at PAX East. So we ran into each other totally by accident. And, but he was just so stoked for it. I'm like, this, this is my, this is a guy who really cares about his game and about, about some of the stuff. And, he, and we are doing a thing with the thing that they made. And that is something that he understands how cool that feels. I'm in part talking so I don't get more frustrated. But, uh, and I thought about, I, I thought for a long time sort of what I was going to say about it. But I, because I didn't just want to say, oh, I really, I really like Borderlands. And I mean, but it, it was, for us, it was that we didn't come up with an idea for a charity event and then go, oh, and we would play Borderlands. Borderlands was the reason for the, the event. It came from the idea of wanting to play a first person shooter sort of for charity but also the the fact that borderlands was what kept us together when people moved out like when people started moving away from town for work and things like that we we're in our mid-20s and that's how that works you you drift apart and we would stay up late at night and play borderlands and i scoffed at it 
at first. I'm like, oh, I'm playing real big kid games, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I also scoffed at digital distribution, which was also ridiculous. But I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh man. Oh, what's that down there? Robin, can you like? No, no, they wouldn't make it that ridiculous. I feel like all of this could be solved with Bomberman Batman. I'm just saying. I'm seriously going to spend the rest of this video stuck on this platform. Or, you know, walking off it accidentally. But yeah, Borderlands was what kept us together. And that was the sort of feel the feeling we wanted to share with it. And that's that's what you want to give people is is not just a thank you. A thank you you can get for anything. A thank you you can get for a birthday gift. What you want to do when thanking a sponsor for your event or for for anything. And I think this is what you want to do with with thank yous in general. I don't think that this is this is strictly a rule for that. I think that Thanking people is really important, and something we don't do often enough. But you want to impress upon them, and and by by making it clear to them, you want you make it clear to everyone else how what they have done has changed things, why it is important, and why it matters. And the result when you do that, and when you when you when you really look into what they're doing, you you will get something that is unique and that is distinct. It doesn't just say thank you guys for being amazing. It says thank you because this is how worse off we would be or how better off we are now with your support and your help. Thank you for doing something that matters, not just to us, but to other people. I mean, for us, it matters. It matters to kids all over the world. It matters to uh, the, the sort of gamer community that we're part of and hopefully we're trying you know we want to make that broader because we want to give people an opportunity to play games for chair I am never getting off this platform I am just gonna leave it there oh my god I'm failing at Lego Batman I will see you guys tomorrow oh god